Eric Jordan Jr. and I run Next Level Fit Academy at Sandusky, Ohio. We're located at 7-Eleven West Washington Street in downtown Sandusky. After like sports and after football, really just trying to find something that I was passionate about. Um, fitness, sports, the youth were all things that you know I'd done my whole life and I wanted to put into a business, which I why I started Next Level uh, Fit Academy for the community, for athletes, for the general public, the people to get um, in shape, you know, become the best versions of themselves. learned that there's going to be a lot of unpaid hours, there's going to be a lot of times where you got to face different adversities, different struggles, and just you got to just find ways to overcome a lot of the obstacles that you're going to face as a entrepreneur. The most rewarding thing is just seeing kids grow up and um, seeing them stay out of trouble and doing good things you know, in their life. I think there's a lot of things, really it's just the work ethic, you got to be able to put in the work. Um, like I said, a lot of unpaid hours, you got to be willing to be the janitor to the CEO, to the secretary, to the assistant, to the, just depending on your business, you might have to play a lot of different roles. So being versatile is a big thing, uh, you know, being able to wear different hats in different situations and also being able to just connect with people, being down to earth. and really just uh, relate to people and figure out their problems, their needs, and helping them help people get resources that they need. So I think we have been a good resource for our community and uh, for definitely for student athletes growing up in, in our city in Sandusky. Uh, some of the challenges have been really, I would think just financially, just trying to find that growth and once you get to a certain point, continue to see that growth and whether it's um, doing different things in business, uh, finding different avenues for income, uh, whether it's finding another part-time job just to support your business, just to support your family, because a lot of the uh, entrepreneurs, they have to have other jobs. So I work a nine to five uh, job as a school resource officer. Uh, I'm a law enforcement officer at Snusty County Sheriff's Office. And then uh, my second shift, I come down to the gym and. I work athletes out, I work the general public out, we have a lot of classes and also full-time dad. Well, the best advice I would think is to not give up. Uh, I had a lot of times where I wanted to just kind of throw in the towel and uh, man, this is too hard, this is going to be too difficult, or even just starting out, people are going to tell you, uh, I don't know about that idea, I don't know about that plan, uh, you got to you got to realize that plan yourself and just go with it. And, and a lot of times I had a notebook just writing down ideas, writing down plans and um, really just manifesting what you want to do and really gearing towards that plan and following it. Um, the plan might change multiple times, but you know, it's still continue on that path um, for, your business, for your business and for your community, whatever your business is.